Well, the political campaign has begun. Wow, already been running for president for a long time. If the Chinese military gets rid of Xi, then they can be best friends with my dog. I'll invite him over, and we can all be friends with my dog, and then we can figure out how to make China nice, because we don't really like the way that China is, because let's face it, do you like having like little freaking brainwashing camps for the Uyghurs? I don't know. I don't think you. I don't think you do. And Xi has been a freaking psychopath with his technology, turning his country into a crazy ass police state. Um. All right. So I'm trying to save you. Stop holding your breath because you think I'm crazy. Um. The thing about Moses is that Moses told people stop worshiping worshiping the golden calf, and they didn't. Wait, did they? I can't remember. I think he melted it down. I don't know. The golden calf is symbolic. Um, that story is very old. Nowadays, our golden calf is the stock market. And we, um, like I said, it would be very difficult to cut our oil consumption in half without destroying our economy unless we have a war. So everyone's thinking, you flip-flop all the time. Why in the hell would I ever trust you on... Um, on um, why would I ever trust you that you're not going to launch a war if you become president? And what I'll tell you is because that's a really big deal. I'm not Barack Obama. Like if I'm making a campaign promise, like I won't have lobbyists in 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 my or in my uh, in my White House, uh, which I'm not making that promise. Um, it, Barack Obama made that promise. He back he went back on it. That's an easy promise to keep. Um, an easy promise to keep for me is. I will get congressional approval if I'm going to launch a war. Um, so what I'll do is if, if current Congress, when I get elected, says no, then what I'll do is I'll campaign against everyone that said no in two years. And hopefully we'll get the numbers to be able to launch this war. Um, and if that doesn't work, then I'll run for re-election for president in four years. And um, if I win, I will launch the war without congressional approval. And I will run for political office on staying president and launching this war. Um, so, but does that mean that I wouldn't launch a nuclear war against Iran? Say that Iran decides that they want to do something, and uh, they 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 decide they're going to attack some of our troops or something. <laughs> and I'm like, you can't attack our troops. <laughs> We're going to fight a war with you. Um, would I would I use nuclear weapons against them? Oh yeah. But that's more of like a imminent attack type situation. Um, but um, to launch a full scale war, I know everyone's going, "Wow!" Now, now you're putting the fine print on it. Yeah, um, it wouldn't be like you killed an Iraqi contractor who is an American Iraqi because we gave him dual citizenship, and it was one person, and we can't even trace it to you. It'd be more like you're attacking our military, like rockets are flying in our military base. That's an opportunity to nuke the shit out of you. Everyone's going, this is going to upend the, the world situation. Well, you know what I, I was just looking at? Um, in Germany, they're protesting Tesla because Tesla is trying to um, – uh-oh, got to move out of here. Tesla is trying to build a plant in Germany, and it's going to take 300 cubic meters of water per hour. And if you think about that, that's a lot of freaking water because um, 300 cubic meters is, is a whole lot. Um, and – it sure seems like the Germans are environmentally conscious and they're trying to save the planet too. And they're, everyone, everyone, when they're protesting Tesla goes, I'm not saying Tesla is bad. I'm just saying that it's bad. And because people don't understand. Like, when you do mining, you, it requires water. And what's happening to our water right now? Way going down, like fresh water, not, not, not salt water. When you do um, a lot of things, it requires water. <laughs> um, so... Um, like a lot of these, I don't, I don't think people, the problem is you got like people like my mom who's going, we got plenty of oil. The problem is we can't get it out of the ground. The problem is the government's not letting us get the oil. We can, we have enough oil to supply the entire world. Oh, for how long? For like a week? <laughs> no, for like, for like three years? <laughs> like how long? Oh yeah, yeah. It was the problem is the government's not getting it out of the ground. And like, and they're, and they, Oh gosh, it's it drives you nuts. And then they say, and then like whatever the news is telling you right now, 
Donald Trump's being so mistreated by this impeachment thing. <laughs> That's why he has Ken Starr on his side. Because Ken Starr, if there's anything we know about Ken Starr, he's a whore. Sorry, Ken Starr. You're from Baylor? <laughs> Sigam Bears? You're not from Baylor. You became president. Uh, but you're a whore. Uh, why is he a whore? Well, this guy impeached Bill Clinton for getting a blowjob and lying about it. But when Donald Trump, he didn't bla what I think what happened is he was trying to initially um, to try to get rid or to, to try to convince Ukraine to launch a public investigation to embarrass Joe Biden. Because let's face it, is Joe Biden the type of person that you can bribe? Does Joe Biden have a long history of being bribed? His brother um, got were, got hired by a construction company. His brother's a multimillionaire. And how did his brother get rich? Government contracts. Um, like his son gets put on a board in Ukraine for this natural gas company. And that's why Donald Trump wanted to make it a big public thing. Because Donald Trump thought that that was corrupt. But in order to do so, he was basically offering... He was saying, hey, I'll, I'll do this for you, Ukraine. I'll do this for you. All you have to do is launch a public investigation. And then what happened is, um, like, it didn't really work out. And um, they wouldn't they wouldn't do it. And, um, and, the, and so it sure seems like it was more like a threat. Like, if you don't launch this public investigation, I will cut off military aid to you while you're in the middle of a war with Russia. And um, so is that blackmail... It's not blackmail, but it's like, if you don't do this, then I'll, I'll, I'll ruin your country. I'll destroy your country because you won't have military aid. So, um, like, it, does that mean I'm for impeachment? Not particularly. I think that this guy is about to run for president, and if they want to run him for president, let him run for president and beat him based on the facts. But the problem is no one knows the facts now because when they're hearing this impeachment crap, all, like, my mom... She goes, this is a shame that, that they're impeaching him for nothing. And I told her why. She was like, that's not true. I didn't know they were impeaching him for that. I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. That's, that, that's exactly why they're impeaching him. And it's a well-known fact that he did it. But um, no one's heard that because they're so – because the, the media sitting there talking about the, the details of impeachment. They're not allowing witnesses and stuff like that. All right. So uh, I think we should beat him. But the problem is all the Democrats that are running can't beat him. They're awful. And everyone's going, Andrew Yang's not awful. Is he not awful if, as far as like a ability to win in the United States candidate? I'm not saying that he wouldn't be fine as an advisor. I'm just saying like he's not going to win. He doesn't stand a chance. And plus, um, do we really no, – no, no offense to Asians, but um, in this war situation, like in the war environment that we're in now, do we not – do you want a Taiwanese person in charge? Like, most likely country to get invaded in the entire world, Taiwan. Um, so, um, but, uh, does that mean he's not an American? I think that, I think he is, he's very an American and odd enough, like, I think a lot of these like ex KGB spies that live in the United States, they're like, I am so much more American than I am Russian. You have no idea. And I believe you, <laughs> like, I believe you. I, I think it's so hard to explain how a person can be like ex KGB and still be so freaking loyal to the United States because they, they, they've, they've switched because there's something about the way the United States is. And that's why you assume that we're going to be able to get the Russians on board. But then sometimes I'm like, deep down, do we want the Russians on board? I feel like if we're going to go go to war with a, a white person country, they'd be a great country to nuke. So, um, I don't know. Um, okay, so am I crazy, China? You don't know. But the fact that you wouldn't get rid of, get rid of Xi means you have that much faith in Xi that like you would put your entire country at risk because when it comes down to it, when, when the apocalypse happens, this is it, the apocalypse, I'm waking up, that song, like you have to understand a lot of weird songs have come out since I've started talking. Uh, but, um, so, um, in an apocalypse situation, um, are you going to say, wow, I'm really glad we kept G around because I really don't think you understand, like, the difference in technology between us and you. Like, there is always going to be this very, very, very large gap. And it's just, it's just reality because 
how many more years have we had um, inventing stuff than you? I know, if I'm not crazy, gosh, I'm not doing a very good job when I sounded crazy. <sighs> We've had a lot of time. That's what I'm saying. So that's my stance on the war. I won't launch a war without congressional approval, and my like, for, and then I'll run a campaign against the people that ha, ha, will have are against my war. And then in four years, if I get reelected, then I'll launch the war without congressional approval. That's 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 the deal I'm offering the American people. Because straight up, I'll, I will I will be honest with you. Doesn't mean I can accomplish everything. I'm concerned about like how can I have no cars getting manufactured that get under forty miles per gallon. I don't even know if I can say that's a national security thing because what's going to happen is these judges are going to step in and say, you can't do that. Um, and what I'll say is you, you might be able to tell me that. That's a different situation where I can't keep my promise because I can get blocked. Um, but we don't live in a dictatorship, so it's like, the, I mean, the fact of the matter is I, I don't know if I can save the country no matter what because of democracy. Because um, we have to do bold, we have to take bold steps, but I feel like I'm always going to get blocked by a judge.